Hi, welcome back. In this short lesson, we're going to continue on our journey and learning about row restriction. And we're going to talk about uh, how to deal with null columns within our row restriction. So in order to do that, we're going to open up the healthcare database and we're going to be using the hospitalization table. So let's grab the first thousand rows of that table. And if you look down, you see we've got a couple columns that clearly are using the null marker. Well, what is the null marker and what is null? Null, as it's applied to a column, means that the data has not been initialized. So if we're talking from the perspective of an application, there may be a form that has fields on it that the user never entered any data in. in older applications or in even modern applications a lot of times what you'll see is that host programs will actually initialize the data if there's nothing there they'll pad it with spaces if it's a numeric field they'll add zeros but the notion of null in SQL applied to a column means not initialized in other words there is absolutely nothing in that field. And so what you're seeing here is what's referred to as the null marker. So it's something to visually tell you that there's nothing in that field. Now dealing with null in our SQL code is a relatively simple and painless process. We can say where and then the column that we want to look after. In this case we'll select arrival mode. is null. So the way this statement is written, what this is going to do is this is going to return all of the rows in the database where the arrival mode column is null. And if I wanted to return the columns that weren't null, I would just add the keyword not in between is and null and that will return back all of the rows in the table where the arrival mode column has a value in it. And I can apply other useful functions if I'm doing analysis like count to find okay how many how many maybe I want to pose the question what's the percentage of null columns in arrival mode? And I've got 211. Well what are, what's the propensity of null columns? in that. And it's about 900. So it's about a 5 to 1 ratio. And you may be asking yourself, okay, why is that why is that an important thing to know? Well, if I'm examining data in terms of data deficiencies, in other words, it might be important for our organization to capture this data by using null we can go in and query the database and find out the percentage of rows in the database where we have data deficiencies so uh, certainly a real world use for for null and believe it or not that is everything in terms of that you need to know regarding dealing with the null marker as it's applied to a column and so I don't have a specific lesson for you per se on this subject. We'll just roll it into the next one. So what I want you to do now is take a break, do whatever you need to do, and you can continue on to the next lesson, which is further on row restriction, working specifically with date and time columns. See you there. Bye.